Hi, I'm Lauren Cruz, owner of the body department in Garwood, New Jersey. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about our wax kits that you can find on our website. This one is our charcoal kit. I'll be showing you how to unwrap, unbox, set up, and lay a strip. Both wax kits will include rims to help you not make a mess, a wax tin to store your wax beads, large applicator sticks for use on the body, and three samples of wax, along with your heater. In your charcoal wax kit, you will receive a sample of Barbero wax, azulene wax, and charcoal wax. In your velvet wax kit, you will receive a sample of plum, Italian velvet, and white tea. Each kit includes at least one hypoallergenic option. In this kit, it'll be your charcoal. In the other kit, it is your Italian velvet. You will receive your wax kit in a box that looks like this. In your box, you will receive a wrapped lid, your wrapped wax heater, and instructions for use. This is what our charcoal pot looks like. It's black with a white cake. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off all of the packaging materials, not only on your cord, but also on your lid and the interior bowl. You have the option to use the interior bowl that is provided or to just use the bowl that is built into the wax pot. If you use your interior bowl, it would be easier to remove the wax if necessary. Next step will be to plug your pot into the wall, turn the knob all the way on to high to properly heat Next. the wax. You will open your wax of choice and dump it into the wax pot. Use the wax applicators provided in your kit to stir the wax as it melts. It will take approximately five to 10 minutes for your wax to be fully and completely melted. A good time to turn down your heat. Keep your knob between on and medium and slowly increase the temperature if needed. Give your wax a few moments to cool before use and always make sure you try a test strip to check the temperature before applying it on sensitive areas. If your wax is quickly dripping off your stick like this, it is still too hot to apply to your skin. Your wax is the appropriate temperature when you can twirl it around and keep a nice chunk of it on the stick. You wanna be sure you are constantly moving your stick so that you don't make a mess wherever you are taking the wax with you. When waxing, it is best to apply an antiseptic to clean all the oils and dirts off of your skin. You will apply your wax in the direction of hair growth and make sure that you create a lip at the end for you to use when pulling off. To the best of your ability, keep your skin as tight as possible and quickly rip the strip in the opposite direction. Hard wax does not require the use of any muslin or strips. The hard wax itself becomes the strip, so once you pull it off, you can throw it right in the garden. When you are finished waxing the area, apply an antibacterial to close the pores and kill any bacteria. If you don't already have one, I highly recommend the one found on our website by Dr. Bump. If you're a beginner and you fear you're going to make a mess, you can use the rims provided to you in your kit just place them around your pot on the top here, and when you're twirling your wax, it will drip on there instead of your pot. When you're finished, be sure you dispose of any used rims, sticks, or wax in the garbage. Next, make sure you turn your pot completely off and then unplug it from the wall. Put your pot somewhere to store safely where it won't spill until it's completely dried. Order your kit today on thebodydeptnj.com slash shop. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video.